relate to the Roman Empire. Even if the imperial side is played down these days, their way of life seems far closer to us than that of more recent societies. They had roads, magnificent public buildings, central heating and drains, literature and art, theater and sport. Even their vices have a familiar ring. Extravagance, luxury, licentiousness of the rich, side by side with extreme poverty, jerry-built collapsing blocks of flats, people living on handouts. They had an enormous army, lots of faceless bureaucrats, and apparently unjustifiably high taxes, just like us. And we know about the villas, with their mosaic floors with central heating underneath. Their piped water and sewage disposal, their eating habits, which, it has been claimed, laid the foundation of modern French cooking, and which entailed large kitchens, equipped with pots and pans we could still use today. Their women loved lots of costume jewelry and painted their faces with rouge. The rich hoard of late Roman silver found here may have been payment rather than the spoils of war. Some objects seem to have been cut up, suggest they were valued more as barter currency than as beautiful works of art. The bigger mosaics are decorated with favorite Roman themes, characters from mythology, gods and goddesses, gladiators. Some of these skills and ideas may have been kept alive in Ireland or Scotland, though Wales and the west of Britain are just as likely a source.